Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt with Downrange Firearms Training. Uh, here to talk to you today real quick about a product in the market. Actually, it hasn't even hit the market yet. I'm beta testing it right now. Uh, it's called the MagPod, and it's made for the Magpul P-Mags. It's a product that was designed by 1UP Design Lab, the guys that do bring you the multitasker. Um, and the whole idea is it actually replaces the base plate on your regular Magpul P-Mag and provides a, a more stable base it's, it's a lot wider, it's, it's angled right there, so if you are going prone, it acts as almost like a bipod, I guess you could say. Um, for when you're shooting prone, it's a lot more stable. Like I said, it's wider, so the magazine won't rock back and forth while it's in the gun and you're shooting it. Um, and the cool thing about it is it actually does provide you with a third point of contact. Essentially, when you're down on the ground, you're going prone, you've got two points, and the magazine has kind of always been a weak point because of the fact that if you're pushing down on the magazine, you could potentially screw up the follower and get the gun to jam. So the cool thing is that the MagPod totally eliminates that because it replaces the old follower, I'm sorry, the old base plate, and provides a more stable platform. Uh, I'm here right now with my friend Joe. Joe's a Marine 2-2. He did two tours in Iraq, two tours in Iraq, um, and I wanted to have him test the gun because we all know grunts love their guns. So we're going to have Joe run the gun a little bit and, uh, and show you the differences between the MagPod and just the standard uh, Magpul P-Mag. All right, guys, so I got Joe proned out here. Um, he's got the gun up in his shoulder in the firing position. And what you're going to notice right here is with the flat base on the Magpul P-Mags, uh, there's a lot of rock back and forth. So if somebody were to trip over Joe or something like that, if he were shooting uh, or bump into him, there's a lot of rock back and forth, you know, especially with the muzzle right there like that. A lot of rock, um, not that stable of a platform. That's why a lot of people don't suggest resting the gun on your magazine when you're in the prone position. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him the Magpul P-Mag with the MagPod on there. All right, so as you see right here, even in the soft sand, I mean, this the the MagPod is probably made more for an urban environment, uh, hard packed dirt, something like that, or or some pavement. Uh, that's where it would really excel because it definitely gives you a more stable platform. But even in the soft sand, you'll be able to see you can dig those front feet right into the the, the dirt right there, and there's a lot less rock back and forth. You can bring the gun actually a little bit tighter into his shoulder and everything from there. And essentially, in my eyes, it's, it's a great third uh, base, you know, he's got one, two, three right there as points of contact with the ground. So it's going to keep you a lot more stable when you're doing proned out shooting, especially if you're running a rifle class and you're doing like an aggregate drill where you're going to go from standing to either kneeling or seated and then to the prone position. That's basically going to, going to keep you on target a lot more. It's going to be a lot easier, especially if you're trying to zero your rifle from the prone position. Um, so I'm going to have, I'm going to put my Air Pro on. I'm going to have Joe rock a few rounds out of there. And then give me his opinion on it. Whenever you're ready, bud. All right, so Joe just fired a couple rounds off in the prone position with the uh, the one of Design Lab MagPod on the Magpul P Mags. Um, again. Joe's kind of been there, he's, he's done that, he's been in some kind of hostile environments where he's had to do some shooting, and, you know, being a Marine, he doesn't usually get the best kit that's out there, uh, I guess you could say, and things that he's told me, things a lot of other guys that have, have kind of been there and done that is they wish they had some additions to their kit to make life a little bit easier. Uh, so, Joe, what did you think as far as the, the MagPod goes as an addition that you could maybe have in the field? I think it would have been great in urban environments. It's a flat base, so it definitely would stabilize it left to right, front to back, more than a standard issue magazine or even a PMAG would. Uh, it also digs into the ground really well, so if you're in that kind of soft earth, it kind of helps prevent some of that rocking again back and forth, because you really don't want to rest uh, your magazine on the ground when you're firing from the prone. This kind of eliminates that need to not rest the magazine on the ground. Also, if you're wearing some type of kit, everybody knows you have your magazine pouches across the front of you. It raises you up off the ground a little bit. This will help with the elevation as well. So, cool. Thank you. Uh, glad you enjoyed it. Again, guys, the MagPod, it'll be coming out soon. We're beta testing it right now for the guys at 1UP Design Lab, same people that bring you the multitasker, multi-tool. Um, so, check them out. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on the web, drftraining.com. If you like the video, subscribe to us on the YouTube. Remember, guys, only hits count.